Hello, and welcome to the Postal Pleasures Channel. I'm excited today to dig into this four pound box of worldwide stamps. We're gonna unbox a few pinches and then work on sorting them by country. While setting up for this, I found some nice concentrations of stamps, which I'll save for future videos. Uh, the first was a set of Albanian stamps. The next was a set of UN stamps. And then finally, there was just a set of nice mint newer worldwide. Hopefully those videos will follow soon. And as always, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. I've picked a few tongfuls of stamps from the giant box and uh, probably was a little over aggressive here. I don't think we'll make it through all these. In fact, we'd be lucky to get through half of them. So I'll just have to do a few more episodes. I'll stop when I run out of space. Um, I'm not seeing large groups of a single country here as I pick through, so um, it's going to take up more real estate than some lots where there's only maybe a few com countries, but a lot of um, stamps. So what we're doing here again is sorting by, by country. It's really the first step when dealing with one of these large worldwide box lots. Um, I'm not expecting any high value stamps, but you never know, right? I've gotten lucky so many times before. I just really enjoy doing this. I like the variety of stamps, the topicals. Um, so let's see what we get. Um, just to make this easy, I think I will, um, well, I'll leave this pile here for a few minutes, but then it's going to have to get pulled out of, out of, uh, space, out of the space here. So I have the space. So we have, um, a French, uh, sewer stamp here. So I guess I'll start France right down front center, because I'll get a lot of those, I assume. Here's a pretty, uh, pretty worn out, damaged, still on paper, um, sage stamp here. Nice green with a nice looking uh, cancel. Uh, too bad it's such a worn out stamp. So here we have a, a Danzig stamp. That'll be um, by Germany. Um, so I'll just create a German pile for now and that'll be part of it. And this is just a beautiful semi-postal, a two plus one with this bird um, from Argentina. I really love that. It's, it's such a good looking stamp. Uh, I'll set that aside here because I don't usually get many Ar Argentinas. Uh, same here is a, a Tanzania. I'll put that even up further. And here's a German one, a mushroom. I love this mushroom series from, from East Germany, the DDR. And let's see here. Here we have one of the Albanian stamps which I missed while separating the concentration I found earlier. Here we have Yugoslavia. Generally, there's quite a few Yugoslavia stamps. A Spain. That one's usually pretty popular. Yeah, I think that's in, in uh, let's see, Ireland. I'll put that there. That's actually a pretty cool Ireland. Um, it's, a, it's a woman flying. Um, oh, one shilling, uh, one and three. Uh, and it's an airmail. That's really nice. I want to look that up at some point. Uh, some Ireland stamps, especially the higher denominations, can have some uh, pretty good price tags on them. So that'll be interesting to see. Uh, another Spain. Uh, Switzerland. East Germany. And right now I'm just putting all the Germanys in one pile for simplicity. Uh, Greece. Here we have England, put that next to France, Canada, I'll put over here. I don't have an exact layout that I do when I'm laying these out, but I kind of, a little bit of creature of habit, it's not a strict habit, but, now what is this, one din, Yugoslavia, and this looks like it's going to be a Mexico, yep, yeah, Mexico, I'll stick that up there, and let's get this big thing out of the way, ah, oh, Fugeria. Um, so these are usually, you know, made to be, uh, made to be collected more than used. Now these are all, um, CTOs, um, if they were ever even legal for postage, I'm not sure. I'm going to, uh, well, I'll spread it out so we can see it. Using my hands, I mean, pretty nice uh, to have a strip of space ones for a topical collector. There's a lot of fun here. Um, just to save space low, I'm going to set them aside. I'm going to look at this next big thing. So this is more of a label, and I don't, this is not a stamp. It looks like a stamp, but it's not. It's a label for Canada. Um, still need to add to a collection. I'll set this aside as well because it's big and, and not a stamp. Here's a Canada. Add that to that one. Here's one on paper. United States. So I'll start the corner with the United States. Um, Paraguay. Don't see too many of those. Set it up there. Poland. We do see a lot of Poland, so we'll keep that close by. Uh, yep, here's another Poland. Portugal. I'll set it up top.
top. Peru, not too many of those usually. Another Poland uh, with a nice dog on it. And dog and a spaceship it looks like. I got the double topical there. And another Poland. And a Poland with a ship. Poland. A lot of times in these lots, the stamps come in, in bunches. Maybe they've been removed from albums or removed from glassines or something. Just uh, correcting that corner here. Italy. I'll set that over here. Uh, but in this case, as I was grabbing the, the mouse, sorry, that's Yugoslavia. South Africa. This is one of the very tiny South African stamps. I've seen that a few times. And I love this one. Again, it's rough condition, unfortunately. Um, but uh, early Germany. 1893, Reich Post. And here we have uh, a conglomerate. Um, so we have a mint on, stuck onto another German stamp. I'll put those there. We'll figure that out later. Here we have a Hitler that's been used. Um, also, I don't actually see those used as often as I see the mint. So I'm um, kind of excited to find that even used. I've got more mint ones than I know what to do with. Let's see, Sweden, I guess I'll put that next to Switzerland. Here we have, I'm gonna guess Hungary on this because of the domination of the Magar, but you don't know why they say Magar Posta. Um, so I wonder if this is some other type of stamp. It's a little unusual. So Hungary's super common. We'll put that next to a Poland there. This one's Canada. Um, German, German. These are actually um, post-war during the post-war occupation. Uh, you can see the watermark on that one. Bahamas. Now that is a beautiful stamp. Really, really nice. There. Here we have a. This Rwanda was catching my eye. It's a nice uh, Rwanda stamp. Bulgaria, might as well fill the last gap up top. And a Kenya. Set that one there. A Cuba, I'll set that sideways. That's beautiful with a, uh, let's see, I've got a stray. And uh, yeah, the Cuba with the airplane, that's really nice. I like that. Another Canada. Let's see here, Turkey. I will set here. I've got something upside down here. This is uh, East Germany, Spain over here. Um, I'm gonna go with China there, East Germany, United States, France right there, Dominican, oh no, uh, Republic of Romania, sorry. Uh, my Romania, I'll put sideways here next to Poland. Oh, look at that, there's Dominica. I don't think I have a spot for yet. It starts to get hard to keep track of these, especially when you have such a variety as we have here. So, um, Africa, Oriental, Italian, uh, Italy. Um, so I'll set this by Italy for now. Poland. Uh, these Sierra Leones, which are stuck together. So I will, um, you know, I'm just going to put them out of sight because I've got a, I've got a deal. I've got a pile of ones that need to get unstuck. Greece. We have a pile for that already. Another Greece. Czech Republic. We'll set that one there. That's another country with usually has quite a few stamps. It's a bigger South Africa. A lot of the South African stamps are um, written, are published in two different languages. Um, so the the English and then the um, oh now I'm forgetting what the other language is. Afrikaans, maybe. That one happens to be the Afrikaans, if I'm right. Another German one. This looks like an old Hungary under that mint mark. Let's see, some more Germany. A couple more used Hitlers. Sorry, my dog's barking at a delivery truck. Hopefully that won't last. We have China. I 
Okay, looks like another Greek stamp here. This is a nice big one. Nice, uh, looks like farming. Really nice. UAR. Another Hungary. United States. Malaysia. Hungary. Big stamp with a nice bird. Some type of fishing bird. It's a nice space stamp from Hungary. What do we have here? Philippines. Do I have a Philippines yet? I don't think so. I am running out of space, so I think it's time. Well, after I grab this East Germany and put this Hungary stamp over here and this US stamp. Okay, now I'm getting something to do easily. Maybe I'll just stick this edge for a minute before I move everything. France with another nice cancel. Really nice, and this stamp's in better condition. One corner is folded, uh, but it's still a neat cancel. Germany. New Zealand, which I don't have a spot for yet. Canada. Canada. And I'm going to put this in China, even though it may not exactly be Chinese, I'm not sure. I'm not great at recognizing some of the um, difference between China, Taiwan, and the different version, different political um, periods within China. Brazil. And Belgium. Brazil. Belgium. And what is this going to be? Oh, Belgium, just a giant Belgium. And I know that's probably running off the page a little, but I'm out of space. What's this triangle stamp going to be? Folded Bolivia. Don't see too many Bolivias. Set that partially off the page as well. Okay, I think it's time for these to go. those Hitlers. Okay, we freed up some space. So I have a nice Bulgaria uh, ice skater it looks like. I guess it should be orientated that way. From 64 I believe. Nice Bulgarian bird. This is Bulgaria as well. As is this. I guess I'm into a concentration of Bulgaria. <laughs> I don't think this is Bulgaria. Uh, but I can't remember exactly who this is. So we're going to put this down here in the mystery pile. I, I know I have stamps from this country. I just can't pull it out of my memory right now. Brazil. Let's see, another Bulgaria, and these two are stuck, another Bulgaria, and another Bulgaria. So we'll sort these back up into Bulgaria. And I have a Belgium here, an older one. Austria. Czech, Slovakia. Brazil. Um, I'm gonna put this in the mystery one too. This is one of those I don't, people. Some people don't even regard them as real stamps. England. Do I not have an England here yet? Uh, what I've done is confuse it maybe by putting French on top of it. There we go. Hungry. Hungry. Trouble grabbing it. Hungry. Hungry. A couple more Hungries here. And Austria, again with a fold. That was an interesting hockey stamp, which I'm pretty sure I don't already have. And then we have a Tanga Kanika, which I do not think I have anywhere up here. Now I'm pulling out a giant fish from Burundi. I actually have a quite well, I don't want to call it large by other people's standards, but by my standards, I have quite a few Burundi stamps. Of course, it takes up a ton of space here. Pull out another.
another big one that interests me. Republic of the Congo. Interesting. It looks like a, a racing driver or something. Or no, it maybe a skier. Yeah, a skier, I guess. So they see the Olympics there. <clears throat> and some Romanian bears. That's a cute stamp. Uh, let's see. Romania's down here. Another Hitler. It's popular today. Canada. Let's see. Argentina. I know there's an Argentina here. There it is, that beautiful bird from earlier. And this one's in a mount. Trinidad and Tobago. Mint. That's nice. 12 cents. It'll be fun to look that one up. Wouldn't expect it to be worth a ton, but uh, at least it's in nice condition. So that was a Canada. And I've got a giant um, Germany one. The Deutsche Post. I love this series in 84. <clears throat> Greece, another Paraguay, we're actually making good headway into this pile, if I don't get too many more countries we may get close to finishing it, uh, Panama, now I don't think I have a Panama yet, but it wouldn't be the first time I missed it, and another Panama, let's see here what's next, let's see a Germany, Another East Germany. <clears throat> East Germany. East Germany. East Germany. Hitler Germany. West Germany. And what's this going to be? It looks like Congo. Belgian Congo. So, just to make this easy, since I'm running out of space, I'm going to put this in my Belgium pile because they're going to be in the same book when I go to cattle or in the same box when I go to put them away uh, and I'm running out of space Denmark I don't think I have a Denmark out yet let's squeeze that little guy in there there's another Denmark Netherlands I don't think I have out yet that's a nicer example of that I mean these stamps are fairly common uh, especially the blue number two um, but I, I really like that one with a cancel it's nice and clean France, France on paper, a couple sewers, sewers, Venezuela, I don't think I have yet, so let's put that there, and a giant, I'm assuming, yeah, Hungary, and a Hong Kong, now I saw Hong Kong earlier, but I don't think it made it out here yet, so this will be new as well, England, England, or Great Britain, I'll say, maybe more officially. Romania, what is this? It's an airmail, most likely. Panama, sorry, it was under the, uh, under that blue cancel. I like a blue ink cancel. And this looks French by design. Yep, that is a French stamp, a giant French stamp. Beautiful, as always, with France. Of course, that's not going to fit in my stacks. And then, well, this is... Oh, no, Portugal, okay. I saw Natal and got excited, but I believe Portugal is the country here. And UAR. Official. And another Hitler. Oh, now, this is a nice stamp. Um, when you get up to the three mark in this one is when you start to see some better catalog values. Of course, it goes for a, to a five mark as well. Um, but three marks a nice, uh, nice find there. And it almost has a greenish tone to the ink. I'm not sure. And uh, we have an East Germany semi-postal fencing, post-war Germany, and another Hitler and. Actually, I'm just going to grab this pile, it is all post-war Germanys, plus another one. And then we have a West Germany on paper, another West Germany on paper, another Hitler. Ooh, I like this one. A 5,000 mark um, German Reich, German Empire. 
uh, network pattern. I'm not sure if this comes in network and uh, lozenge uh, types one and two. This would be the type two watermark, um, but I believe it might, which is why I looked. So that'll be fun to look up. I know there's probably a few different uh, versions of that in my Michael catalog. And West Germany. Oh, and then let me just detach these two. East Africa and Uganda protectorates. Very nice. German Empire, three mark. Post horn series. Another East Africa and Uganda with a beautiful I guess, violet postmark. That is really neat. 1913, I love that. Nairobi. That The postmark is making that one of my favorite stamps in the slot. And France. And a giant stamp here from Bulgaria. It looks like um, canoeing, maybe? Uh, Bulgaria, right there. What do we have here? Looks like a couple French stamps. Beautiful one with a windmill. Got a couple of uh, inky cancels there. And and then this one here is uh, a beautiful one as well. Mont Saint Michael. Possibly a few more French here. I'll just bring the whole lot out if I if I can. So we have an overprinted. Surcharge, I guess. Um, another sewer, that's a little bit nicer, although not full margin. And another one of those. This one's neat. Jean de la Fontaine. I'm going to try to embarrass myself by reading these. A couple more definitives. What's this one going to be? Root of the Col de. Serene, I'm not going to continue on that one. And a Ghana. A little soccer or football. And we've got something stuck to the back here. Let's see if they are removable or not. No, we're going to leave those as is. So I'm going to put that in the French pile. That'll need to soak off. And they're both used, so that'll be no problem. Uh, nice having the conjoined stamps there with a central postmark. That's pretty neat. And another one of that same one I tried to pronounce, so I know not to try this time. And a Nicaragua. We're really getting down there now, which is which is good. I'm glad we're getting through so many of these. And uh, let's see, two Greek stamps, grapes, to the Greek pile. And we have El Salvador. That's going to be a new pile for us. Really running out now. Another Hitler. Um, another Germany. Another Germany. Australia. I do not think I have an Australia pile yet. In Allied Zone Germany. That's pretty neat. And can't tell if that's a black or blue cancel. That's almost a bluish violet cancel as well. That's pretty neat. I like that. Another post war in West Germany. Uh, another Allied Zone. I believe that's Allied Zone there. And East Germany, no, I was yeah, East Germany, yep, yeah. East Germany. And here we have uh, Philippines, an old, old Philippines, uh, turn of the century or before. Um, I know there's a Philippines in here somewhere. I feel like I'm, yeah, there we go, found it. Colombia, I don't think we have yet, so I'll squeeze it in right there. East Germany. I believe uh, Soviet zone post-war, I believe that is. Germany, I should say. Hungary, Poland, Canada, and a folded England, and on paper France. Uh, oh, a really neat uh, Czech Republic. Uh, this one actually looks like looks like hockey or something. I'm not sure. Some kind of sport going on there. Some kind of winter sport. France. And unfortunately, I don't know it's hinged. It's just still mint, mint gum on the back, but with a hinge. But uh, Israel. I'm going to sneak that over there. 
I wonder with that gum if that was a uh, canceled order. I don't know if Israel does that or not. East Germany. Ooh, a really cool special delivery from the Philippines. I like that. Too bad it has such a smudgy uh, postmark on it. And then in Italy. I'm down to the last five here. Here's that Hong Kong that I saw earlier and didn't get out there. So that goes on the Hong Kong fish. And who is this? I don't know. I'm going to leave that right there because I don't... Oh, no, I'll put it in the mystery pile. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to look that up. And the last two are French. I'll set them there for a second as I move them in. And unfortunately, they are stuck together and folded, um, which is too bad because those are really, really nice, bright, well-inked copies of those stamps. It's too bad they're um, damaged um, because they made it out of the printing press nicely. Okay, so I can't believe we made it through this lot. Uh, thanks for those of you who stuck with me. And uh, if you if you enjoy watching these videos, um, please uh, subscribe so you know about uh, any new releases that I do. And, uh, you know, as always, please um, submit any requests you might have. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. And uh, I will try to adapt as I can. Thanks again.